So Danny Bonaducci, it's always a blast to talk to you. Do you like uh, this shot? Do you like the framing? Yeah, you've got your um you've got the Seattle World's Fair in the background, so that's kind of fun. Yeah. If you could look that way, I have the Space Needle clear shot, not even a whole mile away. You guys have a beautiful view, I remember that. And you play backgammon yeah. out there. That's right, we do. We still have that picture. Have you been playing a lot of backgammon lately? Uh, <laughs> Amy and I are, are just addicted to that game. I can't wait to hear what you have been up to um, during this kind of like lockdown. Well, uh, <laughs> um, I've been taking virtual guitar lessons. Uh, I've uh, I've been doing my radio show from home every morning. I, just I wanted to ask you about working from home as a DJ on KZOK. How has it been working from home? The thing I like better about broadcasting from home is I hate those guys. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I really like working with uh, with Sarah and Paul. It's crazy. I broadcast from a tiny little room that has a treadmill in it with a bunch of laundry over the back of the treadmill. There's just something comforting about it. Well, speaking of comforting and comfortable, you are the tracksuit king. Yeah, I'm the tracksuit king. So tell us about some of your favorite tracksuits that you've been donning lately. This one, and I don't know how well you can see it, used to be my favorite. But somebody, some guy came up to me on the street one day when I was wearing it, and he said, that's really cool. And so far, I agreed with him. And then he said, I can't believe you still dress up in the crushed velvet suits from the Partridge family. I thought, no, I'm 60 years old. I spend very little time dressing up as Danny Partridge. Now, that guy was gone, and I'll never see him again. But I wondered, how many people think I'm in a Danny Partridge suit? I know that a lot of rock stars have been doing concerts you know, from their homes. It's really cool. I. And you have done one too. Hey, it's me, Danny Bonaducci, and I'm very proud of my fellow musicians that are doing live concerts from their basement, like Elton John and then Bon Jovi and me. This is a song called I'll Be Your Magician. Listen up. I'll be your magician. Do, 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 do. Puff up smoke, your resistance will be gone, huh? I, I don't know all the words. When Boston banned the song, a bunch of other people banned the song. So it's kind of cool to be the guy that was banned at the age of 12. That's a real rock and roller right there. I also wanted to ask you about something that I love that you do. And I wondered if you've been missing your secret signings. My thing was my wife's idea. All the good things in my life are my wife Amy's idea. We were in a, a record store one time and she's a vintage record shopper all the time. She goes, I wonder if the Partridge family is in, which by the way, they almost always are. So she goes, why don't you just sign it and leave it there? And we did, and about two weeks, maybe three weeks later, a woman called up the radio show kind of so happy. It was ridiculous. I mean, I would have done a lot more to make that lady that happy. Cool, not bad. So it turned into a thing. Amy and I run around to uh, um, vintage record stores. She finds the Partridge family, and I sign them and put them back. Also amazing is something that I've seen you doing lately that's called Orange and Delicious. Welcome to episode two of Orange and Delicious. I'm your host, Chef Danny. It comes from, uh, we made a mistake when ordering. We wanted Kraft macaroni and cheese. Put what, a, a tablespoon of that powder in and it turns everything orange. Well, we accidentally bought this. It's a, it, it's a whole pound of Kraft orangeness. So <laughs> Amy's pretty frugal and said, we're not, we're not wasting that. So we started uh, making things and I said, listen, if we do this, it's going to be orange. It also, it's a cooking thing. It has to be delicious. Hence the title, orange and delicious. You want to take two cups of Bisquick, half a cup of milk, a tablespoon of chopped chives. And finally, here it goes. The main ingredient, the orange cheese-like substitute food. You put it all in because you want these things orange. Wow, that turned out great. It's, an, it's genius. It's really good. <laughs> well, Danny Bonaducci, it's always such a joy to see you. You know, I, it's a real pleasure to be back. I'm not always received this happily, so thank you guys.